guys gorilla here welcome back to part two of my fly-in video so the heater in the trailer didn't work and I suffered through the night it was like 42 degrees and I was freezing my tail off I was greeted by this beautiful chilly sunrise so I defrosted myself got suited up and ready to go Pigs in position. Okay. Let's send it. Arms out. Some, uh, some trim work here. my first flight in this morning I was the third one off the ground wind socks on the ground were showing no wind got off the ground and once you get about 300 feet there was a gradient it was a little bit bumpy got up to about five or six hundred feet it was smooth but the wind was 16 miles an hour out of the northeast so I was barely moving there were a couple guys that took off in front of me I let my trims out they were about 10 minutes ahead of me I flew for about 25 minutes or so and almost caught up to them and started thinking, you know, I'm not real familiar with this area or this field, so I better turn around and head back to the field. I turned around and started looking for the field. Well, I'll be damned, it was right there. I'd only gone about a mile and a half, two miles. So, hauled ass downwind. It took me a minute and a half to get back to the field. So I went and uh, flew around the fields back there, it was a little bit bumpy down low and I decided just to bring it in and uh, have some hot coffee and warm up. This seems to be the thing this morning called para parking. That guy's actually going backwards. He is. He's going backwards y'all. Yeah, screw that. So after that, guess who showed up? A couple of uh, Florida YouTubers, Mr. Jeff Dean and Mr. Rip Man Riding. I'll post links to their sites uh, down in the description. Cool to hang out with those guys. Here's Jeff Dean performing a flawless reverse and launch. And here's Jeff showing off his smoke system. Pretty sweet. 
After that, I had some lunch, and we just kind of hung out and watched all the pilots fly. They did a lot of acro. Guys were uh, some really good pilots there. Really enjoyed it. Finally, evening time came around, and the wind laid down just beautifully for our evening flights. Oh, face plant. Don't be that guy. Saturday night's flight was the highlight of the whole trip, so I saved that for part three. I had a special guest that I got to fly with, and, and it was just amazing. So stay tuned, guys. That's coming up next. Um.